Hey guys and welcome to my channel Bong in States. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today we are in Arizona, Flagstaff, Arizona actually. We are having a heavy breakfast and we'll be headed to Petrified National Forest uh, soon. And Mayuk is enjoying his Denver hash browns and I'm having a Denver omelette. Petrified woods are like precious gems shining in the sun, remnants of prehistoric forests lying at your feet. There are colorful specimens from small shards to massive trunks all strewn across the landscape. In 1956, the faster and more direct interstate highway system brought an end to the romance of travel along Route 66. The road was decommissioned in 1985. Petrified Forest is the only national park that preserves a section of this road, a true American experience. Welcome to Petrified Forest National Park. Ancient Arizona used to be hot, humid, lush and green. It may be hard to imagine the desert grassland before you as a prehistoric rainforest. During the Triassic period, 225 million years ago, this was a tropical landscape. As we entered the park through the south entrance, so our first stop was the Rainbow Forest Museum and Visitor Center. We gathered information regarding the park and checked out the cool museum. We also started to walk around the 0.4 mile loop and saw some of the largest petrified logs in the park, including the Old Faithful. Driving across the crystal forest, our next stop will be the 0.75 mile trail through Badland landscape with many intact petrified logs. Well, you must be wondering what badland is. Badlands are a type of dry terrain where soft sedimentary rocks and clay-rich soil have been extensively eroded by wind and water. And they have spectacular color display. Like for example here, you can see mostly hues of red but they can also be of black and blue colors. As a tree died or were knocked down by wind or water, many were carried downstream and buried by layers of sediment. The logs soaked up groundwater and silica from volcanic ash and over time crystallized into quartz. Different minerals created the rainbow of colors seen in many pieces. A gate bridge offers sweeping views of the petrified forest and also a 110 foot long petrified log bridge. We stopped here for a couple of minutes and took some pictures and enjoyed the scenic view from here. The next stop is Blue Mesa which features a 3.5 mile loop drive. There is also a very steep 1 mile trail which enters right into the badlands and I was so excited to hike inside this kind of badlands. And also as the name suggests the badlands were blue in color. Blue Mesa is so outlandish that it looked like Mars or Venus, who knows? I have never been to those planet, but I have been to Blue Mesa and it really looked like a different planet. I found the one mile trail quite challenging, so in case you are planning to go down, make sure you have water and a cap and ample amount of sunblock with you. Painted 
desert overlook showcases spectacular views of the multi-hued landscape. There is also one tip that I would like to give you that is to stay on the designated trail when in developed hiking areas. There is also backcountry camping in this area so in case you are here and you want to camp around you must get a free permit at the Painted Desert Visitor Center or the Rainbow Forest Museum and Visitor Center. The teepees are small mountain seemingly out of nowhere appears to be tall, cone-shaped hills striped with perfect layers of reds, pinks, blues, greys, purples and whites. You will have no choice but to stop by the pullout area and take a couple of pictures before moving on to the next location. It's a dream for many travelers to drive on Route 66 once in their lifetime. Stretching from Chicago, Illinois to Los Angeles, California, Route 66 was a destination in itself. Established in 1926, it was one of the original highways in US highway system. It covered 2448 miles and we were lucky that we could stop by and check out this place. gift shop right now and we are hunting for a souvenir to bring back home with us there are lots of stones you know petrified logs and stones which are sold here and you are definitely not allowed to pick anything up from the national park so in case uh, you know you want a souvenir do head back to the museum or the stores over here and they sell beautiful stuff so we got a fridge magnet and yes so that will be it for today and thank you so much for joining with me into my journey to the petrified forest national park i think uh, you liked it or if you have not liked it do mention it down in the below i won't mind be be very honest with me and yeah subscribe to my channel don't forget the drill subscribe comment and like and thank you so much that's bogged states for you